Welcome to Phuket! What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we're going to talk about the things to know when visiting Phuket Island. Let's do it. Okay, let's talk about the best places to be on Phuket. Now there's Patong Beach, which is where I'm at right now. I'll flip it around. This is actually where you want to be if you want the best water sports activities as well as the nightlife. You can see right here, very lively, lots going on down here. Other places to be include Kata Beach, Karan Beach, there's also Phuket Town, but really the best place to be if you want nightlife and all everything, malls, that's gonna be right here in Patong Beach. Now, so some of the water sports out here are really popular. One of them being these parasails. You can see right here. Got them in the sky, going around. You'll see these buzzing around with the jet boats. That and jet skis, very popular. Jet skis typically cost, well, let's let this guy explain. What's your name? So. And what do you do? Jet ski. How much for one jet ski? 1500 bucks. Yeah, and you can come see this guy and you can actually do parasailing. Yeah. What else do you have? Jet skis? Jet ski. Banana. Jet ski, banana boat. So parasailing seems to be about 1500 to go up for about 7 to 10 minutes. They kind of wing you around Patong Bay. Really an awesome thing to do, actually, if you haven't done it. Okay, so how long should you consider staying in Phuket? Well, I would say 10 days to 14 days seems to be the sweet spot. You could easily spend a month. Seven days may be a minimum. So when you come to Phuket, seven days minimum. Sweet spot's going to be around 10 to 14 days put it at 12 days is the absolute sweet spot so lots to do here in phuket and it's not a boring place there's lots going on which let's talk about that next now let's talk about all the things to do while you're here there's a lot of them right we've actually made a full video on this exact subject if you want to watch it in detail more i'll put a link below but you have everything from island hopping going to the Similan islands going to pp islands there's other islands to the south and then you have all the water sports which we just talked about. Then you've got the big Buddha, you've got many other temples that you can go to, you've got tiger shows, you've got tiger sanctuaries, elephant sanctuaries, you've got cobra shows, so a lot of that stuff going on here. And then of course the nightlife on Bangla Road. Getting a massage or getting a haircut, getting some sort of self-care, manicure done, that's really popular here. That's something to do when it's really hot outside. Okay, this subject about money and tipping because people are confused what to do. Well, tipping about 10% makes you a nice person. You don't have to tip 20% unless you're a really super nice person like you would in the United States or some other place, but it's not even customary to do that here. So don't feel like you have to tip in Thailand, but giving 40 baht, 20 baht pretty consistently for service is good. When I get a massage for 400 baht, I always give 100 baht just because it's a long time they spend, you know, working on your body. And if you pay them 300 baht, another 100 baht, 400 baht for the total, not a bad price. All right, now let's talk about drinking water. People seem to think that you can drink the water here. Well, it's not recommended even if you are brushing your teeth to even wash your mouth with that water. Phuket water is not the best. That's why when you go into your room, you'll see they have those glass uh, waters that they give complimentary at pretty much every hotel, about two of them. You can ask for more if you need them, but use that to wash your mouth or drink. Don't drink the tap water. I mean, it should go without saying, but here in Thailand, really not safe to drink the water. And another thing to know is Phuket Airport is actually quite far from Patong, Kata, and Karan Beach. Now, when you get here, you look on a map and you realize it's not too far away, at least according to the map, but Phuket is a big island. So the airport drive takes around 50 minutes to an hour and sometimes traffic can be a bit more, uh, let's just say, difficult. <laughs> uh, they get some natural disasters, rain, flood, mudslides. Also, an accident can happen, which can slow down traffic. So take that into consideration, going from the airport to Patong, Kata, Karan. They need some sort of major road that goes a little bit wider and allows you to go faster, but keep that in mind. Now let's talk about food. You can see they do a lot of mixed cuisine. They've got this Turkish kebab, which is definitely fast food. Some crispy pork here. Here's a look at some Japanese Wagyu steak with some miso soup. Caramel chocolate brownie, yummy. Okay. And then you have lots of Indian restaurants here. Right here I got saffron rice with butter chicken. You can also get chicken tikka masala with garlic naan. 
Very popular dish here. And then you have desserts like this that are on the side of the street. This is called roti. I got banana, egg, and I also got Nutella. So this is what it looks like when you're making it and then eating it is absolutely delicious. It's a good uh, midnight snack for me. After going out, I stop by and get one of these roadies. Now let's talk about safety. So what do you need to know when it comes to safety? Well, I would say the most dangerous thing that people do here is rent mopeds, get drunk, get too carried away at two, three in the morning and then people start fighting. So between mopeds and people just getting aggressive with each other because they drank too much on Bangla Road, and then they even start fights with locals, which is not a good idea, which are the Thai people. You know, they're friendly up until a certain point when you really just push your luck. So those are the two things right there. As far as walking dark alleyways, isolated incidents can happen late at night, but that's common sense. That happens anywhere. Overall, I would say Phuket is a safe place. Just be careful on those mopeds though, and the jet skis. All right, now let's talk about accommodation in Phuket. Yeah, so they have a variety of different accommodations and pricing. You can find everything on the low end, under $10 at times at hostels. And then you can find the average median uh, price for a hotel. It seems like it's around $35 to $65 for a pretty good accommodation at a boutique hotel in a good location. That's Kata Beach. You can find those. You can find them in Patong also. And then you also have these high-end luxury resorts that go well over $150 a night and then even higher in some cases. Okay, so here's my room. I believe they're calling this a superior room. It's got a bathtub. One of the benefits of the superior room is right next to the pool. Comfortable bed, by the way. Air conditioner works really good. Let me just show you the poolside access. Oh, I gotta unlock the door here. Let's talk about shopping here. So you have these, what I consider to be fake markets, because that's what they are. It's not authentic Gucci boss. Tommy Hill figure. How much for the basketball jerseys? 500 bot. What, what about happy hour price? The, the, uh, 450. So which one, please? Uh, Kobe Bryant. Oh God, what color? Yellow, black. Kobe, black. Kobe, wow. Uh, and the yellow, the yellow color. But if you want the Phoenix sun, I do Phoenix sun. Well, I ended up getting this shirt right here. It lasts me about a month or two, and it cost me about under 10 bucks. And then they have souvenirs. Yeah. What the heck is this, bro? Yeah, big funny. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Painting's beautiful. How much is one of those paintings? Which one you like? The beautiful one. But. Best price. You said 300 baht, huh? Wow. Good price. Very, very shit. So that is uh, heavy people know like it's good shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My is Scott. Oh, that's the name of your yeah, shop. My yeah. Name is no bullshit. Oh, okay. The uh, name of the market on the Phuket town. Phuket uh, Naka. Naka Market. Yeah. Now let's talk about visiting temples. So the one that I'm at right now is actually called the Big Buddha. You can see it's 45 meters tall. But there's several different temples on the south side of the island and then in the Phuket town. So if you like temples, come to Phuket. Okay, let's talk about the best time of year to arrive here. Let me just tell you right now, the low season, which is considered the time that people don't want to come here, is June until around October because they say it's the rainy season. But I'm here in June right now, and I would say that it's kind of nice. There's not too many people. But if you like crowds, then you want to show up outside of the high season, the reason it's high season is because it's not so rainy. Although I don't mind the occasional rain and you still get blue skies even in June. Uh, let me just say this, the busiest time of year is December and January. And with that being said, that's going to conclude this episode of Island Hopper TV as we just talked about Phuket. I definitely recommend coming here. I would say when you're in south of Thailand, also check out Krabi because it's very close to each other so I recommend doing both. You can also see the Phi Islands. So two weeks is what I would say. 
and watch some more of our other videos. I did a walking tour of Patong Beach, Kata Beach. I'll put links to those below and at the end.